beautiful people welcome back to my channel i'm Paige. this is seeking alexandria and guys today whoo we are diving in we're talking about expensive makeup that your girl bought herself with her own dollars her own coin her own regret and uh, it's time to just talk about it i'm gonna tell you what it is why i don't like it why i think it is overhyped overpriced and just like all the things and all the feelings now i do just want to mention before i dive into today's video if you are curious about this look or anything on my little face right here you can go ahead and check out the video that i put up a day or so ago it is on the new boxy charm box so i go through i talk about all the products what i think what i like what i don't and um i apply them and i create uh, this look right here so go ahead and check that out if and you're curious but let's go ahead and start today's video with the product and i mean the product that when i think about some expensive stuff that i have purchased that i regret ooh, and i mean wholeheartedly regret girl it begins and ends right here now for those of you that don't know what this is this is the kevin Ahuan contour book and i believe this is yes this is volume three and it comes with six different pans for sculpting so you have three different um sculpting like contour shades over here you have two highlights and then a blush and i believe this palette retails for somewhere in like the 50 to 60 dollar range and let me just let me just let me just tell you okay i have kept it for so long because i feel like i was so duped like i can't let go of it because i know i spent so much on it but I tried to use this oh I tried to use this so many times guys when I tell you on like a clinical level that I loathe this palette I can't even begin to express to you so let me go ahead and just tell you guys why I don't like it number one um I'm gonna start off by saying this blush right here it's not so bad it's one of those like ombre blush moments so you can like pick and choose what like shade you want if you want it more neutral pink if you want just straight pink light pink you guys know the drill but for me the blush even though it's not as bad as the rest I hate this blush because it's so friggin fragging glittery why 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 is there so much glitter like when I swatch this right here it's like all I see is this weird glitter and for some reason when I put it on my cheeks it doesn't look like oh a nice glowy flushy kind of thing no it looks like a weird ass settle into every single pore glitter and I do not like it like the blush itself cool pretty idea even the ones from what is it it cosmetics they make ones that are that same style where it's like an ombre blush kind of moment this is disgraceful number one number two flash and beam these are the two highlights right here boom and boom and they're not bad like the quality of them isn't the worst i've ever seen i shouldn't say they're not bad because they're also not good but like the quality isn't the worst i've ever seen there they are right there for me what i don't like about them is the chunk factor this one right here i don't know the straight up orange one it is so freaking chunky that when i swatch it like i tried to use it on my eyes girl glitter glue alone could not save this i had to build it up and then try to fix it and then try to blend it like it was a whole hot mess this shade is just insane to me i don't understand the other shade the lighter one that would be like closer to my skin tone first of all still too yellow undertone can't use it on my skin second of all looks horrible on my texture it looks absolutely awful now diving into these three sculpting shades right here you can see um i don't have an issue so much with these ones they're not like overly powdery they're not um like glittery they don't have a weird like chunk to them or anything like that like the powders themselves are really nice and refined truth be told the consistency of these powders are what i wish the consistency of all the powders were like just nice finely milled really nice and refined feeling for me what i don't like about these is just the color of them for my skin tone um they don't work they look dead and that's just no matter how i go in like whether i try to use them as a contour shade as a warm up your skin tone as a whatever it literally makes me look dead like i even went and i tried to use the medium one and tried to use it only to sculpt like a light amount of contour a light amount here and i tried to da -da -da -da. oh my god no matter what i did i looked like a mardi gras skull by the time i was done every single time because i looked dead i had this full-on painted face and then these dead little friggin things sculpted on my face and just for me this palette just no now i'm gonna stop talking i'm gonna interrupt myself again because i could literally talk for hours about how i do not understand how this palette costs so much um but for me it's just not worth it i would not recommend buying another one i think for the price you could buy so many other options and uh, be way happier so no thank you pass but next up we're gonna talk about something that i wholeheartedly also regret and i did a full video on and that is this big old beefy tart set right here it has the little four eyeshadow palettes and a little pull out drawer and all the good things i'll link the video right up here if and you're curious but guys this freaking collection oh my word like i did the video on it yada yada i talk about it you know whatever like the quality and all of that but then as i went back and i kept using it you know just to kind of get a feel give you guys an update i think this thing retails for like 50 bucks or something and it is insane to me that they feel comfortable selling this thing for that much money now i'm gonna go ahead and get started with this little thing with 
<laughs> I'm gonna get started with this little piece here that just like fell right out. Um, let's go ahead and talk about these. Now these are a deluxe or a travel size um, gloss and a mascara and my feelings on that are just straightforward simple. If you're gonna charge this much for like a holiday collection kit, why not just put like two full size and like really make the value a value, you know what I mean? Um, also then we put this little big beefy pan over here acting like, oh it's like some good value. It's literally just like the snippin carton for the shadows up top. So if you look at the rest of it, like the inclusive or like all-in-one kit factor, really all you have is a bunch of eyeshadow and then these two little deluxe things, which I'm like, okay, whatever. And then of course you take this little guy, you bring it up top and you can select one of these four. You pop it in here magnetically and you take this with you, which again, in concept, I think is a cool idea. Where I struggle is <laughs> the fact that, first of all, this is the most uninclusive palette, which is nothing new to Tarte or Too Faced or really any of these holiday brand people because they think that everyone that buys holiday sets is one shade, which, fun fact, they're not. Um, but I digress because obviously I'm a light skin tone lady and that is not my place to speak on that. What I also struggle with is the idea that this is supposed to be like some all-inclusive, like on the go, it's so easy to take with you. No, it's not, bro, because not each one of these pans has the blush, the bronzer, and the highlight. Like you gave me a blush here, a blush here, a bronzer, and then a highlight. I, I, you gave me one of these, dog. Like what am, what am I supposed to do? Just take take the big beefy box with me if I want to use all of these at once. Like, I just don't understand the practicality of this to me. It's just so overdone and so bulky. And I think the idea, what kills me about this, is the idea could have been so good. Like, the idea in and of itself, it could have worked if it was done correctly. And unfortunately, it just wasn't. As far as the quality in here goes, I think it's like the standard Tarte mid-range shadow. I don't think it's anything amazing. I don't think it's the worst I've ever tried. As far as their holiday collection kits go, I think that it's better than what I've experienced in past years. So I guess that's, you know, that's acceptable. Overall, the more that I play around with it, the more that I'm just like, no, like just, it, it's just a lot of bulky packaging and I just don't enjoy it. And I know that this is, by the way, by the way, I know that this is nothing new. Like so many people, when I go to review these, they're like, Paige, why do you spend money on those? They're awful. And there are people that really do enjoy these and they love them and they love the packaging and the aesthetic. And it really is like a beautiful component. So I like to review them for everyone. Like you guys know on this channel, I try to keep a very open amount of makeup and a very open dial. So when it comes down to me testing it, I'm never mad to test it and I'm never mad to pick it up so I can do a video, especially if I think it's going to help you guys. But for me, I'm just like, girl, no, just no. Now, another item that I picked up a while ago that guys, I just can't let them go because I loved them so much. I fell in love from the moment I saw them. And that is these little Dose of Colors block party eyeshadows. As you can tell, I picked up a fair assortment here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have seven of the colors, seven of the colors. And I think these retailed for like 16 or 18 or $20 a piece or something like, girl, they are expensive. I paid more for one of these than I've paid for like some BH Cosmetics palettes or ColourPop palettes. Like these are so expensive. That's not even just a dose of colors thing. Like I'm not trying to be shady. A lot of single shadows. I have them from Hourglass. I have them from uh, Marc Jacobs, Char Charlotte Tilbury maybe are in there. I'm not sure. But I have a lot of like single shadows, moral of my story. And they're all like right in that price range. But for me, guys, these are the only single shadow I've ever used that burn my eyes like the fiery pits of hell themselves. I have never experienced the burning from a single shadow like these. And I don't know if it's just me. You guys can tell me down below, but like, let me just explain the level of excitement I had when these came out. I was literally dying to get my hands on them. Like they are so beautiful, so buttery, so just Oh, they're so sexy. And for some reason, they ruined me. What shade is this? That was in Hot Mesh. And then I'm gonna try to find, oh, this one right here was so good. This is Heart of Gold. Just like, look at these shadows. They are so freaking stunning. The pigmentation is beautiful. They're like one swipe, intense coverage, and they're so, so beautiful. And moral of the story, again, I bought like seven of them or whatever, I could keep going, but these are just so beautiful. And the only reason that I regret buying them is because I can't use them as much as I want because they burn the living piss out of my eyeballs. Like, no matter what I do, I just can't make them not burn. And you might be asking yourself, Paige, why do you still hold on to them? Why do you just retain control of these burning little fiery demons on your eyeballs if they hurt so much? And to that, I would say, first of all, I paid for them and I just can't let them go. No different than why I've still got the Kevin Ahuan palette. Like, it's no different. Um, I just can't let go of it because I bought it and I'm just like, I need to find a use for you. And when it comes to these, I was like dedicated. Like, I will find a use. And I actually have. I've been able to get a little bit more use out of them by going in and creating barriers on my eyeballs 
eyeball between the shadow and my skin. So I'll go in with like my normal concealer, what have you, and I'll prime the lids. Maybe I'll put down a powder, some eyeshadows, or whatever. And then before I go in with these, I actually lay down a layer of glitter glue as well. And a lot of times by going in with all of those safe barriers, it does help subdue the burning. Like I can still feel it, don't get me wrong. Like it still burns on it, but it does help subdue it a little bit. Just enough that I can get past that initial like, ow, and uh, you know, kind of move forward. So for me, I've kept them because they're beautiful and the quality is like, wow, insane. Like the pigmentation is amazing, but girl, they burn, honey, they burn me and they burn me and I regret buying them, but they burn, but they're pretty, but oh my God, I still regret them a little bit because they burn. Did I mention they burn? Wow. And you know what guys, while I'm on the topic, let's just go ahead. I'm going to pick on him one more time. Little Mr. Kevin Ahuan. Let's talk about this little thing right here that I thought I had returned. This is the Prismagic Highlighting Trio. What is the point of this? <laughs> like, I think this is the dumbest highlight thing I've ever seen. By the way, I don't even know if this is still available or not, but this is one of those things that when it was released, I was super excited. I'm like, yes, please. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so awesome. And I just do not understand this palette. Like, there is no wearable to it, number one. Number two, it is so chunky. Like, the formula of these are just Oh my god, thick and obnoxious, and they have like these weird like glitter chunks, and they've got like this duo chrome factor. Like, there's just a lot happening here. And the more that I work with it, the more I tried to play with it for my face, I was like literally the dumbest thing I've ever seen. I hate it so much. Now, I will say to the credit of the palette, I was still able to get a little use out of it, and I do pick it up every now and again because again, it was expensive. Um, but I still do get a little use out of it, mainly with this really nice kind of mossy green shade up here, and I'll use that like on my lid if I want to do like a fun little pop, like if I'm doing a green eye and I want just a little something more, this is beautiful on the eye. Now, I don't know if the palette is eye safe or not, so keep that in mind, but the actual shades themselves, they do look really beautiful. Again, especially that green one up there. But really for me, when it comes to this palette, I was just so underwhelmed with like, what is the point of this? You are literally giving me a purple, a green, and an orange highlight trio, and you're calling it a highlight trio, but like who uses these colors? Who would reach for this? That's like my real question here. Who would be like, oh wow, I really want this palette in my day-to-day -day life. Like nobody. And I just don't understand like why if you're going to create a trio like so many other brands do, why didn't you at least put like one like semi-wearable shade in there? Like why? Why? Now moving on to something a little more current, I have this right here from ABH. This is their loose highlighting powder in the shade Snowflake. And this is so dumb, <laughs> guys. I hate this. I, oh, it isn't, I try not to say the word hate, but this so stupid. And I just want to say too, like I do love a good loose highlight. Like I can really appreciate them. I do think that sometimes they're better than others. Example would be the uh, Kylie Cosmetics one. I believe hers in Santorini is absolutely stunning. It has a really nice finely milled feel to it. It's a little glittery, but not too much. A ton of color, beautiful payoff. Like it's a gorgeous, gorgeous highlight powder. Um, her other ones, I don't vouch for those because they're not nearly as good. They're super glittery and a lot like this. Um, but the Santorini one is beautiful. Another one I really love is from Laura Lee Los Angeles. Hers are stunning, stunning, stunning. And the ones from Artist Couture are also beautiful. Those ones are a little hit or miss for me too, based on color, undertone, and level of like glitter to them. But they are beautiful nonetheless. And this one, I'm just like, girl, how can you be so bad when you come from a brand that has done so many good things? Like what, what is the, what is the point of this? First of all, it is so white. Like the color of this as snowflake, it is so freaking unflattering. And they marketed this to like fair light skinned people, right? So I'm like, oh, perfect. I'll pick it up. It is literally a white chunk freaking glitter that when you apply it to your skin, I wished it looked that good on my skin. And that's like a strip of strobe light white. And it looks so awful chunky on my face. Like when I apply this, guys, I'm not even exaggerating. I will apply it and it literally just like... <laughs> it sticks all over the place. And it's because the texture of this, for whatever reason, is so like ugh, clingy in a way, but it's also full of a ton of micro glitter. So when you go to apply it to your face, unless you go in and like very gently like press it in and then like pack it to your cheekbone, unless you do that, like it's game over because it's just gonna stick everywhere and literally poof all over your face. And basically you end up looking like you just got back from a rave in the middle of the woods with some guy that wears a big Chucky mask. And it's just, it's just like, I don't understand. What the hell rave did I just describe? 
I don't know. Another item I absolutely hated, and I'm not going to spend too much time here, but this little guy from Natasha Denona, this is their full coverage Foundation X Plus. First of all, what? Let me eye roll myself into next week with that full coverage crap, because no, it is not. Number one. This is like the most light medium of coverages I have ever seen, okay? No, 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 no. That's number one. Number two, it didn't apply to my skin good. It looked like crap. It left weird little matte little weird white things all over my face. I didn't like it. And just overall, like, this foundation was such a disappointment to me. Like, Natasha Denona, girl, I love you, okay? I, I really do. I got a lot of respect. I got some respect. But you need to watch yourself when it comes to your complexion because the complexion products, oh, girl, no, they're just not it. Like, eyeshadow you have it on lock. You're doing great. Maybe bring down the price of them pounds a little bit, but you're doing really solid there. Like sometimes you, you, you have a couple like little flip ups, but good. Like your eyeshadows are good. This, I just, I'm not even going to spend time here. I just hated it. Like I literally couldn't even wear test it. That's how bad this was. And I tried so many times and I don't like it. No, it's not worth it. No, no. Now I'm going to go ahead and round out this video on a little duo that I purchased. And this is going to be a very controversial for some of you. And that would be the Pat McGrath foundation and primer duo. I purchased them together. And guys, this was so overly hyped, overly cared about, overly everything. It literally had me believing by the end there that it was just gonna like solve my world's problems. It was gonna pay my bills, girl. It was gonna solve it. It was gonna solve everything from my man problems to my money problems. And I'm telling you, it didn't do nothing except create money problems because girl, she's expensive. And it just did it just did not watch me go off about how much I do not like this. I did try it several times. I have saved it. I will keep trying because it was so expensive. I'm not going to waste it without putting up a fight. But for me, this looked so awful on my face. Like when I applied it, it emphasized everything, all my fine lines. It didn't last throughout the day. It just looked awful on my skin. Now I will say out of the duo, the primer was definitely better for me. But even at that, this is just your basic like regular run of the mill silicone style primer. It reminds me of literally so many other dimethicone silicone based primers that are going to go on. They're going to blur your pores or fill them in or whatever they're supposed to do. And I guess for me, it just didn't work. Like, yes, it does lightly do all of those things, but it's nothing to where I'm like, wow, this is definitely worth like $60 for this plastic little bottle with this plastic cap, with this cheap little plastic lid, with this peeling thing. Like the whole moment for me was just ruined when I saw how crappy the component was. And then when I saw the subpar product inside, I was just like, wow, great, cool. Next. Honestly, for me, with the foundation it's a very similar thing like I love the packaging and the presentation is beautiful but the product inside is just so lackluster that I'm just like why on earth why on earth would I spend that much on something just so meh like it's just meh but you guys that is it for today's video be sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions down below do you like these do you hate them do you have any thoughts and opinions that make you feel some kind of way leave it down in the comments and uh, while you're down there also let me know would you like to see this same type of video but done with drugstore because I've got some drugstore stuff that girl I do not like maybe it would probably just be more of like a drugstore fail or like a recent drugstore fail or something You guys just let me know. What do you think down below? And while you're down there in the comments Don't forget you can check me out on Instagram and on Twitter They are both linked down in the description and if you have not done so yet the most important thing of all Is to subscribe and turn on your post notifications to this here YouTube channel I do upload five videos a week Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and they go up bright and early between 6 and 7 a.m And my time here in good old northern Michigan you guys that is it. Thank you all so so much for for watching. Please do not forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Diet Coke gets me moving, gets me grooving, girl, yes! Makeup that I purchased that I regret, honey, and it is expensive. Oh, lordy, is it expensive. Um, I... Guys, this is... Whoopsie daisies! I'm gonna sneeze, 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 I'm gonna sneeze. Uh, uh, I'm gonna sneeze. Uh, uh, huh. Shh, I'm very busy. I'm being upset. And guys, this was so freaking humped. It humped. <laughs> this was so humped. <laughs> I need to take a nap.